Hello and welcome to Trading 5 Talents. In this video, I want to go over my week two results um, using my automated trading bot that I made on Option Alpha. So once again, Option Alpha is a trading platform that allows you to create a bot uh, without having to know any code. And then you can deploy that bot to link with a broker and then it can automate and monitor and open and close trades for you um, based on the settings that you put into the bot. So if you want to get a 30 day free trial and check out option alpha, I have a link down below in the description. And once you join, you can search in the community, you can search for trading five talents and you can find the bot that I'm using live right now. Um, so the first week uh, I did pretty good. I think I made, I don't know, in the forty dollars in, in profit or so um, you can see right now this is week two um, right now the total profit is four hundred and thirty eight dollars now my closed profit is is what uh, three hundred and seventy nine dollars the total profit so this includes the unrealized um, profits and losses four hundred and thirty eight that's what's showing up here um, the positions that I have open are two so we can take a look at what these positions are and then I'll just give you a few comments as to how I feel the bot has been performing so um, before I get into that um, really quickly the the bot that uh, I'm running live right now is uh, opening up in iron fly every day and it's a 10 strike wide iron fly and I'm uh, I have a stop loss at 30% uh, loss and then I also have a trailing stop that starts at 15% and then it trails the uh, the high of that position by two and a half percent. That's all put into the settings right here. And I've made a video already on this, on how I set up this bot. And then you can see all the parameters um, down here. I've given this bot $2,000 to trade with, and this is in my Tradier account. And once again, with the promotion that is going on right now through Option Alpha, if you fund your Tradier account with $2,000 or more and connect it to Option Alpha, then you can get the premium version of Option Alpha for free. So I made a video on, on how I did that and it worked really quickly. So that's what I'm using now, the premium version of Option Alpha, because I have it linked to a qualified um, broker account with Tradier. All right, so here are my positions that I have open currently. I've got an iron butterfly that expires on the 20th and an iron butterfly that expires on the 21st. Both of these are in profit right now, $48 and $11 respectively. And so here's what I have uh, closed. So this was my first one. So after week one, I had $42. Um, by the beginning of this past week, uh, I held it over the weekend and you can see that it closed for much more than 15%. In fact, if we look at it, uh, the return, yeah, the return was 29.21%. It actually reached a 35% high, um, but the trailing stop never activated. And by the time it opened up on Monday, um, it was down to 29%. And so it closed right there. Um, there was a canceled trade right here because, uh, what was that one? Oh, yes. That was this one up here, this uh, April 17th expiration. Uh, I'll let you know why I canceled that one. All right. April 12th is the next one. This reached 17.3%. A win, $105 for that. And then this one right here. It went up to 15.7%. It activated my trailing stop because once again, once the profit hits 15%, that's when it activates a trailing stop. It and then it trails that high by 2.5%. So the target hit trails by 2.9%, closed, and I got $78 for that. Option Alpha redid their exit options to allow this one minute trailing stop automation. So before it was doing it every 15 minutes. And then they updated their uh, the overview, I guess, of or the summary of what is going on with that position so it makes it a lot clearer it says that the target was hit it says it trails by such and such percent and then obviously when it closes so i like the way that it's set up right now all right so let's take a look at this one this is the one that expired on april 17th and you can see that i lost nine dollars so what happened with this position is i opened it on monday i think that was yeah monday april 10th and it only got to a 0.2 percent high and then so you could see the trailing stop was waiting to activate. Remember, it activates at 15%. It never reached it. That's why it's waiting. Um, and then I closed it out uh, for this loss right here. And the reason I closed it out, I closed it out manually because the next day the FOMC minutes were going to be released as well as CPI. So those were 
you know, some of the big five binary events that I wanted to avoid when I was doing all of my iron condor testing. And because this was a live account, um, I guess I, I was just pretty uncomfortable um, keeping this during the uh, release of that news. So I exited early and I exited for a $9 loss. Now, I also kept track of what would have happened had I just kept this position open. And if I would have kept this position open, I'll show you right here. So you can see if I would have kept that position open, then I would have actually made $110. It, it won. It hit the 15% trailing stop target, and then it trailed it by 2.5%. I would have made $110. Now, again, because of that uh, you know, the binary event that was going on, the CPI, the FOMC minutes, um, I didn't enter a trade on that day, which would have been the 11th. So when I opened the one on the 10th, I closed it the following day, the 11th, I lost, but if I would have kept it open, it would have won. Um, I didn't open one on the 11th because, you know, that was the day of the binary events going on. So I chose to stay out of the market. So that would have had an expiration of April. And I also kept track of what would have happened there. And if you look, you can see that on April 18th, I would have also won. That would have been $93. And similarly, um, I did not open one up the following day again. So I exited early one day, and then I waited two days before I re-entered or before I turned the bot back on. So there was three trades that um, I potentially missed out on. So that last trade, it would have opened on the 12th, expired on the 19th, but I would have exited for $104 in profit. So there are three you know, back-to-back -back trades I would have profited on had I just kept the bot running. Now, I chose to turn the bot off because I was sort of fearful of what was going to happen with the binary events uh, occurring on, uh, what was it, the, the 11th or on the 12th. So that's why I turned them off. But really, I've been running these bots in paper trading and have not turned them off for any binary event, and they've all been doing well. So I guess I should have just, you know, leaned on, on sort of that evidence and just kept it on and it would have turned out really well uh, in this case. So I'm going to leave it on. I'm not going to um, skip any binary events anymore. I'm just going to leave it on. I think I've learned my lesson. Um, but there's also something else that I did uh, with this uh, live bot, and that is I've increased the trailing stop. So it still activates at 15%, but now I'm going to have it trail by 5%. So I think widening out that trailing stop um, is going to allow my um, profits to run a little bit greater. And I've been doing some testing between 2.5% and 5%, and the 5% is, is working better. So I'm going to increase uh, to that. And so we'll see how it does this week. Um, and I'll report back next week for week three and the results. But overall, I've been very happy with this Ironfly strategy, trading it live, using Option Alpha to automate it. You can see I've returned 21.9%. So far, we've had five closed positions, 80% win rate. So that means four wins and one loss. My average win is $97. Average loss is $9. Now, again, if I would have let them all go, we would have been at 100% win rate and there would have been, um, what, seven closed positions and all would have been winners. But I'm still pretty happy with how this is going and uh, I look forward to seeing how it turns out this coming week. So make sure you subscribe and you'll be notified of when those results come out. And I'll try to post these every week um, just to give you uh, an indication of how trading live with a bot using Option Alpha uh, can be very profitable passive income. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, please consider using the link as well for option alpha if you want to try this out for yourself. And until next time, trade wisely and take care.